Hey there, there's nothing that people love more than Special K and White Claw Ruby Grapefruit for breakfast. Well, that and card tricks, card tricks. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, really nice hard and heavy card trick that uh, you could do anytime, anywhere to impress your friends and family. Um, I, I guess for, for validation, really, you're not really doing this for any sort of productive reason in society. You're just doing it for validation. Now, uh, see, we would be usually using the Bin Wang playing cards, but we're not going to be using these uh, because of, um, well, the borders the borders to be honest so we're going to be using these bordered uh playing cards these bicycles but notice notice the long flap notice the long flap these are one of the uh, old school bikes they made back in the day back when um times were good you know and you'd have a, a one of those boys pump gas for you you know what i mean one of the those colored boys with the puerto rican uh so this is going to be a fun trick. All you need is a, a deck of playing cards, uh, an ordinary deck, an ordinary unprepared deck of playing cards. Uh, as you could see, they're all here. If you could count, uh, if you could count these, well, honestly, um, you should be uh, doing something for the government rather than be watching magic trick tutorials on YouTube. But uh, we're going to be actually uh, taking this deck and uh, mixing it in a way that's face up and face down. Now, a lot of people would ask me, hey, why are you doing this? Why do you subject yourself to, to torturing the cards in this sort of way? You know, you're going to have to fix them, right? You're going to have to fix them. Uh, but you know what? It's a little bit of practice. This is how magicians practice. So we mix the cards uh, face up into face down. And uh, this allows us to practice. Now, usually, Usually, if you, uh, for example, subscribe to the Pig Cake Card Academy, where for $5 a month, you get two new videos every single week, and uh, you go over card and even coin stuff from a beginner all the way to an expert perspective, then uh, you would be able to do these without much practice because you would have streamlined instruction on uh, basic rudimentary skills and slights and magic. But here, unfortunately, we're going to have to... Um, improvise here and we're gonna have to use a little bit of uh, what's known as a uh, cheating we're gonna have to use cheating so uh, why don't we do that here let's see if you could um time me here uh, I gotta warm up my fingers gotta really warm up my fingers here uh, okay here we go that's one and that's two okay so we have uh four cards that we managed to squeeze out of the deck and of course they happen to be the uh, the four aces the four aces now of course what would that do what good would that do if I could only find the four aces from a uh, deck of cards that's been mixed face up and to face down? That wouldn't do anything at all. Um, but you see also I, I fixed the deck. I, I The deck is all facing the same direction. You see that? They're all face up because I did that with my skill that I learned on the Pig Cake Magic Academy. So usually this would be the, uh, the time when I shill the pig cake magic academy although i kind of did it in the in the pattern of the trick so um i really don't have a need to to chill here but you should check it out seriously support the channel support yourself uh it's super cheap what's five dollars a month uh special case cereal you could go without um getting special case cereal for five dollars a month this is garbage cereal look at how many this is supposed to be the one with strawberries there's no strawberries in there there's no straw what is, what is this racist cereal disgusting um but this is a, a nice little bit of a triumph routine where uh, pretty much requires not a lot of work you do a couple slides and uh, you're ready to go you have a ace find and a, a triumph all in one so if you guys don't know what a triumph trick is a triumph is when you um supposedly mix the cards face up and the face down and then the cards fix themselves really the cards usually aren't um mixed face up and face down that's the cheating part of this uh so if you're more than welcome to use the pig cake card academy patter for this but people are going to be very confused so i suggest uh finding your own uh pattern for this but as you can see the setup is very very simple we're going to have the aces face up on the bottom of the deck and then we're going to have the rest of the deck face down on top of that that goes inside of your card box and then uh you lie you lie when uh you say that there's no setup because there is a setup there is a setup. The aces are on the bottom. That's the... We're liars. We should lie as often as we possibly can. So here, first thing you got to do, you got to open up your deck. You got to say, uh, this is an ordinary deck of playing cards. Because that usually confirms in their mind that it's an ordinary deck of playing cards. 
Don't do that. That's a, that's, that's a prank. Uh, so here we're going to do a move known as a Tenkai Reversal. Very, very simply done. All we're going to do is we're going to cut off approximately half the cards with our right hand, our dirty right hand. And we're going to turn this face up. So we're going to use our palm to go from a face down position to a face up position. For those of you guys that have a hard time understanding basic instruction, that's as uh, simple as I could put it here. We're going to turn our palm face up. Now at the same time that we're turning our palm face up, we're going to turn this hand face down. So when we combine both these actions of just cutting the cards and turning both hands, it seems like the only thing that's changed is this half has turned face up. Really, we have now faced the deck. So now we have a bunch of face up cards and the aces here on top ready for your jiggery pokery. Oh boy, man, you're a sneaky. You're a sneaky little uh, Puerto Rican, aren't you? Well, uh, here, we're going to have to do a little bit of a fake shuffle here. We're going to have to do a, a, a closed shuffle, rather, not a fake shuffle. A closed shuffle is when you shuffle the cards, but you make sure that your hands are close together so the spectators really can't see what cards are being shuffled. You don't want to do an open shuffle that looks like this because then... Um, I think the gig is up at that point that you're not really mixing face up cards into face down cards. Or if you want, you could do a simple pharaoh. So at this point, you could just simply pharaoh the cards. And uh, a pharaoh obviously is a, a, a way that virgins, us virgins, refer to just weaving the cards together in this sort of way. Now, if you noticed, uh, I left a nice little bit of a chunk on top, a little bit of a chonker. This is a, another jargon term, a chonker on top, which is uh, going to preserve the aces on top of the deck. So you're more than welcome to do whichever method you want, whether shuffling the cards on a table or doing uh, what virgins call the pharaoh shuffle to keep those cards on top. And make sure that the aces stay on top by uh, shuffling underneath and not uh, disturbing your aces here. So those are going to get squeezed up. Right, we're gonna squeeze this together and show the spectator that we pretty much have a little bit of a messed up situation. If at this point you wanna do a swing cut maybe, keep a break and double undercut these cards back to show the fact that we have face up cards and face down cards. However, at some point, we're gonna spread these top cards and we're gonna reobtain a break underneath the second card from the top of the deck. Again, if you have a hard time understanding these terms, maybe you should seriously consider joining. Uh, so here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a double undercut. So that double undercut is going to make sure that now we have two cards on top and two cards on bottom that if you haven't figured it out by the transitive property are the aces. See, are the aces. And guess what are the only actual face down cards in the entire deck? Oh boy, you already know where this is going. You already know. So we really don't have any need for uh, the rest of this video because you already know. I guess there are people from Argentina watching that need a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of that extra juice, a little bit of that extra instruction because they really can't use uh, common sense to figure things out. So we'll, we'll explain it for you guys, but only for you guys. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to hold the deck in our right hand and we're going to squeeze with our thumb and our fingers. The reason for this is because we're going to do the friction production. This goes pretty much all the way back to when um, cavemen did magic tricks with uh, leaves and um, molestation. So here what we're going to do, we're going to grab and squeeze the top and bottom of the uh, deck with our right hand. The reason for this is because when we toss the deck to our left hand, what's gonna happen is that these two cards, you notice that the top and bottom cards are gonna stay in your right hand. So at speed, the move just looks like you're just throwing the cards onto the other hand and you're keeping two cards in the hand. So just like this, you notice we're just holding onto two aces. Now, if you've noticed, we're in the same position with our left hand, which means, guess what? We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to squeeze top and bottom, and we're going to allow these cards to drop on the table, retaining the uh, top and bottom cards of the deck. So now at this point, we could show that we have two cards uh, in both hands. We could turn them over and show the fact that there are uh, the four aces, and that in that little motion, we've managed to find the four aces. But wait... That's not all we've managed to do. We've also managed, sorry, it's the Comtrex. We've also managed to fix the condition of the cards. So in that little bit of a magic motion, not only were we able to find the most important cards in a deck, we also fixed absolutely each and every single playing cards because that's the type of virgin that we are um, or whatever pattern 
you want to use. But there you have a nice little bit of a Triumph, a little bit of an Ace production, a little bit of a nice combination. Make sure to leave each part to marinate, right? So you find the Aces and that's a moment, right? And then afterwards you go, yeah, that's impressive and all, but here's the thing. Uh, I'm a level 70 virgin. So you think that I, I could just find the Aces and that's it? No, I fixed the deck, son. I fixed the deck. I, I did it. I did it, Ma. <sighs> I, th I think that's it. That's cool. Uh, make sure to leave your favorite type of cereal in the uh, comments below. Uh, if it's not Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I will delete it. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I make sure to do all the things that I've think mentioned before when it comes to videos. And I'm going to go figure out different ways to use White Claw to get me inside of the pants of a college person. <laughs>